Paul Pullman is the Unilever Chief Executive. Mr Pullman, why have you made this decision? Well, first of all, thank you, Dominic. Good morning and thank you for asking. We're in fact making two announcements today, both actually announcements that have to make the company simpler, more agile, more focused, and the idea there obviously is to build long-term value. Uh, the two announcements that we make is the first one is that we're moving to three divisions. Two of them will actually be located in the UK. One is the beauty and personal care division and the other one is the home care division. That's about 60% of our business and secures about a 1 billion spending a year, including R&D. In fact, we're just opening a very advanced manufacturing center on the Wirral with about a 60 million pound investment. So no change there and a big presence. The second part of the announcement is indeed that uh, our simplification of our legal structure into a simple legal entity which is based in the Netherlands. And that reason is made purely for technical reasons. We have the bulk of our company's uh, trade, 55% to be exact, is actually based in the Netherlands where it's more actively traded and actually at a premium. So we feel... Uh, that these two decisions together uh, will represent uh, a better opportunity for us to create the long-term value. Because people looking at it will think you had a choice between a country that's going to be outside the European Union or one that's inside. They'll say it's Brexit-related, is it? Well, the opposite is true. Uh, we would not be investing in our two headquarters here for the two divisions in the UK. We would not have the secure the one billion spending if that were the case. Uh, both countries are very attractive from an investment point of view. We have a long history here that we're proud of and we're happy that we can continue to build on that. Now, you you've have in the recent past faced a takeover approach from a big uh, American rival, Kraft Heinz. Uh, and some people think the reason you're moving to Holland is because Dutch laws uh, and your Dutch shareholder structure give you much easier protection from takeovers. Well, as you probably will see behind the uh, proposition to simplify our legal structure in the Netherlands, we also move actually to an even higher level of corporate governance than we have today. ISS, one of the main rating agencies, gives us already the highest rating for corporate governance. But behind this move, we are moving to a well, you did, you one did share, one vote plan, which is very important. You did complain about the UK takeover laws, though. Well, the models of the UK and the Netherlands have substantially converged over the years. You have Section 170 of the Company Act here in the UK, and that's actually fairly similar to the Dutch one. So the takeover rules, not surprisingly, uh, fall under the EU takeover directive and and have converged to a great extent. Will you um, Have you done any particular arrangement with the Dutch government about tax? Because the Dutch dividend taxes have been a bit of a, an obstacle to this kind of thing. Is that now out of the way? Well, on the tax level, as you know, uh, the UK doesn't have a dividend withholding tax and the Dutch have decided also not to have dividend withholding tax. So as it comes to tax, most, both countries are attractive and uh, it has not really been a deciding factor in this decision. And what about jobs? I think there's a small number of jobs affected, the headquarter jobs that will move from the UK uh, to Holland. Well, as you will expect, there will be some uh, minor changes between jobs and people, but broadly we have uh, 7,300 people in the UK uh, across 20 sites, and we don't expect that to change behind this move. And what, what about the, the, the broader Brexit point? Is it going to make much difference to your operations? Well, as we said, this is not about Brexit. Uh, Unilever is in 190 countries in the world. Most of these countries are not in the European Union. And as you can see from our results, which uh, continue to exceed our competitive set, uh, we're able to run our business quite effectively. Thank you very much. Paul Polman from Unilever. The government, Thank you, Dominic. The UK government has just put out a statement on the back of that saying that it's all down to a long-term restructuring of the company, Unilever, and it's not connected to the UK's departure from the EU.